wall. Square's got to consist of two triangles, so we know we're done with that. Another way to do it is just delete all the polygons, select the two edges from two walls that you want to connect, and um, use the bridge boundary edges tool. Now, as you can see, uh, that worked out fine, but the polygon uh, polygons along the floor don't really line up, which is all right, as long as uh, the floor ones all connect. Because we'll also be using that as a clipping uh, as a clipping file. So now that we've totally optimized our map, uh, we can see the polygon count has been lowered to, uh, to 316, uh, more than half the polygons. I mean, I'm sure I could optimize it a little more, but uh, it's good enough for what we're doing here. So right now I'm going to make uh, make these uh, railing uh, railing parts. Problem with uh, using an extrude along axis, we can't. Uh, do it along connecting edges, so we're going to just get disconnect the polygons that we want to use. And we're going to select all the edges that we want to extrude along to make uh, a flat polygon where we'll put a rail in. So now extrude along an axis and uh, just translate that upwards. And you should have our uh, flat polygon surface where we'll attach the railing texture to. Now if we have uh, some polygons facing the wrong way, um, just, not that it's a really big deal because when we convert them to secondary indices, uh, they will be viewed on both sides, but we can just uh, select them and invert the polygons. I did uh, miss a few, but uh, it really not a big deal. So now we're going to be uh, separating our uh, level into rooms. Just ex uh, select the polygons you want to use and extract and delete. And the naming convention for all our rooms will be room O or room and whatever number. Now we do this for every uh, room that we want to separate. And uh, remember the uh, number is also in hex, so room 9, then the next one will be room A, and then room OB, and so on. Repeat the same. Extract polygons and uh, delete the originals. Just double check, make sure all our rooms, and make sure we're not leaving anything out, but everything looks pretty good. So uh, now we're going to start texturing. First, select every polygon you want to use as one texture and create a cluster. We're going to create a new texture from file, and we're going to find our gray texture. Make sure we've uh, into our texture uh, view. So now we can see our texture has been loaded. Now if you click the uh, little unfolded cube thing and just select best fit, we can get a flat polygon texture on there. And just scale it. Uh, accordingly to match. It's really no big deal. I don't think I'm gonna work too much on the textures here, but... So repeat this process for every room. Now you can texture uh, the level before you split it into rooms, but it's a uh, best bet not to, because sometimes when you uh, end up converting or splitting up into different objects, uh, some of the textures do not uh, follow along in the conversion so you end up having to re-texture them. So again, uh, texture seems stretched out, we'll just best fit them and uh, kind of scale. Looks like I'm going to try to get it perfect but uh, I end up not doing that for the rest of the stuff. So, uh, so your options for texturing, oh, okay so I'll best fit the whole thing just to show you here. You can see how the whole uh, how everything can be scaled at once. And this can be done with as many polygons and uh, with as little polygons uh, that you want to get your uh, fine details down. And, I mean, you can also move them around uh, without scaling. You can rotate, scale, and uh, just transform or trans, trans something. So 
So what we're going to do for the railing effect is uh, select all the polygons that we want to use as a railing. And same as before, we're going to select them all and create a cluster. And we're going to add a new image. Don't worry about uh, everything turning into the rail texture, it won't save like that. Uh, so now that we got the rail texture on there, we're going to hide the polygons. Just make it a little easier to uh, select the rest of the polygons that we'll use for the gray block. So now that it's hidden, select everything and uh, repeat the process. Create a cluster, a new image. And there we go. So now if we unhide our polygons, we should see that uh, our level bin textured the way we want it. I think we might have to fix this railing up a bit, but other than that... So again, just select every texture that you want to edit. Open the, uh, open the projection window for the textures and best fit them, and uh, just scale it until... Uh, you think the rail is at the right height? Now I'm going to move the uh, railing texture up a bit because it uh, doesn't sit properly at the top. That should be fine.